This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! And guess. Just to add even more irony to this, I'm gonna start it by saying, Welcome to 2020, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> even though it's probably 2022 by the time this video yeah. comes up. I will, like, almost be graduating from college if that's the case. Anyhow, yeah. Artie and Marty are back. It is January 1st, 2020, while we were recording this. Yep. Marty's sick. <laughs> yeah. But thankfully, I think she has minimal talking to do, so it's not that big of a uh, deal. It's, it's fine. She's I'll bundled be, up. I'll be fine. I'm always bundled up. What else is it? Okay, you're a special. You're wearing the green blanket today. Yeah, I'm wearing, to just I'm wearing the Costco blanket. The Costco weighted blanket. The no, it's not weighted. Oh, okay. Like, feel, I mean, feel the blanket. I mean, it is. It's super soft. It is nice and soft. It's like a sheep underneath, <laughs> and then the top layer is like soft and fuzzy. Everyone needs to know this. This <laughs> is super important. Buy your Costco <laughs> blankets, kids. Anyhow, so we're, investment. St we're still on Turnabout Ablaze, and. Yeah, Quercus, and part three. Is Quercus there an Alba. Is, four? I don't think so. No. Oh, okay. Quercus Alba is taking a while to bring down. Also, before we start, <sighs> I don't normally go into fan theories because most of them are really stupid. Where it's like, what if Ace Attorney and Toy Story took place in the same universe? It's like, <laughs> <That's> what? <stupid. laughs> I've had but, better. But I've actually than that. heard one theory that I really, really like, and I okay. wish they actually made canon, which mm -hmm. is that Damon Gant. From Rise from the Ashes mm -hmm. was trying to bring down Alba's smuggling ring. That's brilliant. I like that. Because, like, you go back to Gant, like, he kept, it's like, okay, he wants to be chief of police, but why does he also want to, like, control the prosecutor's office? Yeah. And the theory is basically that Alba, because he had people like Jacques Portsman as a prosecutor and, like, Callisto, he was a defense attorney, like, yeah. he was he could controlling control the, courts. the courts. So yeah. Gant was basically like, we got to bring this guy down. So he wanted to kind of exercise control over that. I think that makes perfect sense. I think that makes Gant a much better character. And I, I wish they put that in here because that would make it so much better. Yeah. But, Some of it is, once Damon Gant was brought down, I don't think anyone wanted to hear about him ever again. Except for us. It's he's an interesting character. Karma. Manfred von Karma's great. <laughs> he's great, but a lot of people were like, what a butt. He tased oh us. God. Oh, well, he is a butt, but that's part of what I, why it's I like him. It's March 15th, 3.33 a.m., Theatrum Neutralis Lobby. Mr. Alba, I request that you tens testify once more. As if there is anything else for me to testify about. I still have yet to fully prove that it was Mr. Alba who murdered Mr. Cochin. Well, I would like to hear about your movements before the murder occurred. I wonder if you could tell us about why, what you did here at the Theatrum Neutralis. Very well. I suppose I could tell you about that. <laughs> because about all I did was watch the Steel Samurai stage show. <laughs> Elaborating on even that alone is good enough for me. Yeah. The only way for me to place this man under arrest is to pinpoint the exact location of where the murder took place, for that is the key to this investigation. Whoosh. This guy, this guy, he takes way too long to bring down. Steel Samurai Show. I watched from the last row. The stage was well lit, but it was dark out in the audience. I swear I was there in the audience, but it's hard to prove that, I suppose. I do remember the contents of the show very well, though. Is that proof enough for you? Those moving scenes were scare seared into this old man's heart. I'll never forget them. <laughs> Those moving scenes? Like when people Moving, were... like, oh, it moved me. Oh, I was like, to me, I was picturing, do you remember watching Mary Poppins? Yeah. Broadway, where the set pieces would move by remote control mm -hmm. off stage. That's yeah. what I was thinking of, where I'm like, well, the Steel Samurai has such a big budget that they can have the movie. <laughs> they probably have that, too. I don't think so. <laughs> so, you were in the theater proper, watching the Steel Samurai stage show, were you? Of course I was! I have a great fondness for the Steel Samurai! <laughs> yeah! I, it was, I was pretty cool up there, wasn't I? You're not the one who was cool! It's the Steel Samurai who was cool. <laughs> yeah, and the Steel Samurai's special finishing move today was really something, huh? Hmm? Hey, Edgy! Who is she? Who's this super cute girl? How has he not- She's been standing here this whole time and only now he notices her? <laughs> her name is Kay Faraday, and she's helping me in my investigation, and she's 16. She's off limits. Sorry, I didn't get to introduce myself earlier, but better late than never! Yeah, it's okay. I'm wearing pants. Silence is the pe silence is the peanut gallery. Sick Marty's the best Marty. <laughs> silence in the peanut gallery. There's no time for such tri trivialities. Uh, trivialities. At a time like this, Don Karma's also sick. 
<laughs> She's like, it's 3.33 in the morning. I have jet lag. I have the worst headache ever. <laughs> Mr. Prosecutor, this is the final battle. You got that? I know. This is the end. Part three. For that man there. <laughs> now that's the kind of fiend I like to hear. I think I'll give trust in you a try, Mr. Prosecutor. Or rather, Mr. Edgeworth. Hey, Wayne's come a long way. Yeah. I leave this critical battle up to you, Mr. Edgeworth. Uh -huh. Have no fear. I will finish the job. B Butts is like, but I still want to talk to Kay. Slaps again. <laughs> this really is the end game. The time has come to expose every last one of Mr. Alba's lies. <laughs> Take this, Master Ugwe. You are a disgrace not, to Kung Fu. He's not Master Ugwe. He's like he a weird, a weird Yen Sid. He always looks mad. <laughs> Yen Sid meets Pinocchio. Yen Sid? Like, I've never seen him smile without looking creepy. It's true. Like, I was playing... <laughs> he's always, he's smug or angry. I mean, clearly this isn't the best representation of him, but I was playing Disney's Magical World. Because I was sick. And I actually could look at the screen Just Disney's once. Magical World or Magical World Racing. Welcome to Walt not, Disney Not World. that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, Disney's Magical World. It's kind of like you make a character and you run around and doing you're doing chores for like Mickey Mouse. And he's like, good, now you've got a sticker or whatever. That sounds like Mickey's Castle, Epic <laughs> Mickey Castle of Illusions. It's kind of like that. It's also kind of like the Tinkerbell games. No, nope. um, <laughs> we don't want to hear about that. That's fine. <laughs> you no, know, but it's like I had to go to Yen Sid and he's just like, well, Marty, I think you need a magic wand, because <laughs> he's like, Cinderella's super mad that there's all these monsters in her world. Go, I'd be mad, too. Go defeat them. He doesn't go himself. He's a perfectly capable wizard. He's just sitting in he's his gonna, tower. He's got to take a nap. He's just sitting in his tower eating raisins or whatever the heck he's doing. <laughs> That's <laughs> he's exactly like, what Jensen does. He's just like... Eats raisins. Because he's an old raisin himself. Wow. I mean, he's, he's great. The last row... I should think that an ambassador would have had special seating reserved. I love how this is always in, like, other- their brains going on right. in the background. <laughs> Edger's like, I know this guy's like a terrible <laughs> person I need to bring down, but man, Yen City's kind of weird. Yeah. I wanted my staff to enjoy the Steel Samurai show as well. Oh, really? So I gave up all of the good seats for them. It was enough for me to simply see him. Hey, the Steel Samurai wasn't the only hero! Let's not forget about the Pink Princess here. My dear madam, if you continue to thrust about like that, your hip may begin to hurt again. Oh my! Well, aren't you the considerate person when you want to be? Is Old Bag married? No. Oh. But this yacht butterfly is on the side of Edgy Poo. That would make sense. So you can spare me the flirtatious commands! Wow! He's completely frozen! In frustration, perhaps. I dare say she can be one rather trying opponent. I saw everything. In any case, Mr. Alba, can you actually prove to us you were watching the show? I swear I was there in the audience, but it's hard to prove that. Are you admitting then that you have no way of proving to us that you are watching? Quiet! You buzz in my ear like a pesky little fly! Tell us the plot of the show. If you don't lis wish to listen quietly until the end of what I have to say, then perhaps you should pack up and get out of my way. <laughs> I see that you're now willing to be a bit more receptive. While it's true that it may be difficult to prove that I was out in the audience. I do remember the contents of the show very well, though. Is that proof enough for you? Tell us the contents of the show. Hmm. <laughs> well, I remember the contents of the show as well myself. That's nice. That's nice! Miles Edgeworth, don't allow yourself to be riled up by him at this important juncture! Ugh, I wasn't planning to let him. Well, if you ask me, I think I'm the biggest Steel Samurai expert. I forgot I'm the biggest Zephron and fan. Yeah, no, I am. Yeah. And didn't you figure out the climactic scene of today's show was just totally awesome? Yes, I remember that well. And that spectacular special move. The way you delivered the final blow against oh the evil gosh. magistrate. The early summer rain jam. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is going to be the thing that brings him down. <laughs> the stupid... Mary <laughs> couldn't do the early summer rain jam because he bent the spear. Oh, that scene will live on in my heart forever. Is that how it went? <laughs> I totally forgot about it. How can you forget your own special moves? <laughs> That's the special attack that the Steel Samurai uses when he's using the Samurai Spear. Yes, and today was the first time they showed it off, was it not? If I hadn't watched the show, then how could I answer you with the name of the move? I suppose you are correct, but if you could please elaborate on this point for me. Mm? 
One of the scenes was his never before seen early summer okay, rain jab. Okay, we know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> early summer rain jab was a move that was to be unveiled today. And because I saw that brand new special move, I believe it confirms my alibi. How sad. The only way he gets to protect himself is that he watched the Steel Samurai. I guess this guy really has nothing left. Yes, and to avoid arrest, you can bet he'll say or do anything. But with all of us here, there will be no escape for him. Do a triple flip and yeah. <laughs> He's like, da, 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 da. <laughs> Yeah, we'll find a way to bring him to justice. Now then, let us continue with your testimony, Mr. Alba. You knew this early summer rain jab would be I important. I knew, but I was like, the fact that they didn't get rid of the, the stupid hot dog container and stuff as well. <laughs> Oh. It could just be like the, the thing you present at the end of the case. It's like, here, have a hot dog. It could be. <laughs> Who wants hot dogs? Who wants hot dogs? <laughs> very well. The Steel Samurai special move and the various other yeah. scenes. Those moving scenes were seared into this old man's heart. Uh -huh. I agree. Today will be a day to remember. Especially when we finally make you pay for all the wrongs you've committed. What? Hey, that's what the Steel Samurai says when he defeats the evil magistrate. <laughs> Actually, that line was just something that ad-libbed. You may act all surprised, but naturally you remember this line, don't you? Of course I do! I just now understand how the evil magistrate felt, that's all. Sorry about that, I hope I can cut that out so no one has to hear me hawking up mucus. <laughs> then allow me to make you identify with the evil magistrate some more. Hey, then that makes you the Steel Samurai, huh? <laughs> Well, if you had to complete the analogy, I suppose then, yes. <laughs> and I do believe it's about time to bring the curtains down on this with a bang. Kay and myself were also in the audience of the Steel Samurai stage show. He's got nothing on the Jam and Ninja, but he was still cool enough, I guess. <laughs> Wasn't my brand new special finishing move totally rat? Yes, we get it. It's the special move that's wrong. <laughs> no, don't tell me. It was you who fought up the special move. Yup. Um, now what was it again? Extremely silly rain jab! Was that it? No, wait, it was stubble breaking chop. Uh, that doesn't sound quite right. <laughs> with a samurai slap! <laughs> How can you forget a move you came up with? The final piece to Mr. Alba's alibi was that he was watching the Steel Samurai show. However, if he was busy killing Mr. Coach, and he should not have had the time to do so. I swear, if this is gonna be like bring down Alba with just stupid samurai spear. <laughs> Yep. Uh. The special move today was the early summer rain jab. Is that your final answer? <laughs> Objection. You little irritating gnat! Do you think you can trip me up by asking me the same question over and over? That was not my intention. Your testimony is more than sufficient. However, I believe it would be wise for you to take a look at this. The samurai spear? What about it? This spear? Actually, never made it on stage today. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> Andrew was like, are you kidding me? It's 3 <laughs> in the morning. Unfortunately for you, tonight's Steel Samurai <coughs> happened to be a goof of a young man with an abundance of useless hot-bloodedness. It was goofy. Having said that, said useless man bent the spear during his rehearsal this evening. Kay, do you remember what the Steel Samurai special move was tonight? It was Steel Samurai Sushi Slash! Ah! Uh, ah! Correct. Because he couldn't use the spear, a last minute change was made. Had you really been watching the show, you would have known the move that was used. Wait, did he just use his arm to knock out the uh, magistrate then? Like, Sushi Slash! No, he had the sword. Oh. Uh, Quackus Alba, you didn't even watch a single minute of the Steel Samurai stage show tonight, did you? Uh, uh, Ha! <laughs> Sophie wasn't watching the show tonight. Then it opens up the possibility that he was busy killing Mr. Cochin instead. So where were you during the show? I demand an answer now. Just break down. Just let us, like, do stuff. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Just what is so funny? You're so sloppy. And so are your conclusions. I still insist that I watch the show, or most of it in any case. What do you mean by most of it? Ah, you see, during the show I left my seat for a spell to visit the bathroom. For 20 minutes? 
I assumed that was when the dramatic scene was played out on stage. The that is the lousiest, lamest excuse I've ever heard in my life, pal! Ugh! Just because he got the name of the move wrong, we can't really use that as proof he didn't watch the show at all. Ugh. As a fan of the Seal Samurai, I had wanted to watch the entire show. Honest! As a Steel Samurai fan, for someone who wasn't even in his seat for the climax of the show, you have no right to call yourself a Steel Samurai fan ever. Francisca just whips. And... So, Kay, who was that just now? It would be I, young lady. Larry, what are you doing? Interrupting me like that. Angie! Just hold on for a second, I beg! You may never accept this old man as a Steel Samurai fan, but I totally think he's a Steel Samanac. What? Samanac? Samanac. Um, what exactly is a Steel Samaniac, pal? Samaniac. Samaniac. Yeah. I believe he meant to stay Steel Samurai Maniac. Larry got it wrong twice. <laughs> yeah! And trust me, I know a real fan when I see one because I'm the Steel Samurai! I will never acknowledge you as the true Steel Samurai! What are you getting so worked up over, Mr. Edgeworth? There's one Steel Samurai and it's Will Powers. It appears that the real Steel Samurai recognizes me as a fan. As well he should, for I am a fan. It's not as though I missed the entire show. It was a most amazing show filled with the spirit of the Yun and the Yun at heart. <laughs> are you sure you didn't go to Walt Disney World, Babal? Mmm, <laughs> the sarcasm dripping from his long wooden nose couldn't run any thicker. Getting the name of the move wrong only proves that he didn't watch the last scene. Which is stupid. What I really need here is something more definitive. Something that links Mr. Alba directly to the murder of Mr. Manny Cochin. You know what, Gramps? You're really something else! I'm honored to receive such praise from the Steel Samurai, but what is it for? Well, I was just wondering how you found out about the early summer rain jab. That move is a bit of a secret that only a small portion of the staff know about. Wait, it was a secret? Larry! Wait, what did you just say? Huh? Did I say something stupid again? Did you say that the early summer rain jab was actually a secret? Well, maybe I shouldn't have said secret. It's more like we only decided on the name of the move right before the start of the show. Right before? Yeah, the stage director was going nuts because we were supposed to debut the move. About five minutes before the show, we threw it up on the dressing room's whiteboard. I thought he said we're five minutes before the show, I threw up. <laughs> I was so nervous. <laughs> Early summer rain jab, that's kind of how we decided the name of the move. But by that time, I'd already bent the spear, so I guess the whole thing was kind of pointless. You didn't tell them? Nope. All of you steel samurai actors are the same. The director has my complete sympathy. So, basically, because we changed the move to the sushi slash, we kind of pretended that the early summer rain jab didn't exist at all. I mean, it'd be bad if someone found out that we changed the move, so we made it a secret. So basically, a gag order was issued for publicity's sake. It almost makes the early summer rain jab sound like a lost art. Yeah, which is why I think most of the staff haven't even heard of the move. Hold those lips of yours still! What the heck, old man?! I've done nothing but listen, and from what I can tell, it's all very unrelated to the case. It's also very tedious and a pointless exercise in wasting time, much like a kid's show. Oh! You're not a real fan! Mr. Alba, I believe the one who should be quiet now is you. How dare you! I suspect you've already noticed exactly what that very seri severe implications are in this man's testimony. Ha! So now you're trying to bully me, huh? You are a criminal! Of course we're gonna bully you! <laughs> there are no implications to be read into a behind-the-scenes story of a kid's show. Don't even think about trying to sliver your way out of this, Quercus Alba. You sheep. You sheep? Oh, no. Know? I already know. Don't <laughs> say it. Okay. <laughs> you were the one who said it yourself, that the name of the move was Early Summer Rain Jab. But that name was only decided upon right before the show was about to start. Did he meet the Steel Samurai backstage? So? Just what are you driving at? That the name of the movie told us was never used in the show or said aloud. Now then, would you care to tell us about how you found out the name of that move? Because I can only think of one way you could have known. Quercus Alba, this is the only way you could have known the name of the special move. You saw it, you asked about it, you fought it up. <laughs> 
he was the director the whole time. That would be stupid. I think it's you asked about it, but I don't... Okay, well, let's get the stupid one out of the way first. You knew the name because you fought it up. Therefore, it's only natural that you knew. You are the one who created the name of that move. He's just like, what is this bleep? He's like, okay. Lang's gonna punch us. Franziska's gonna whip us. Mr. Edgeworth, somehow I don't think that's it. Let's just leave it at that since it clears everything up for me nice and neatly. Hey, what exactly did you find out by saying that anyway? Um, not much actually. Will you please take this seriously? Yeah, I guess I made a mistake. Mr. Alba, would you care to tell us more about how you found out the name of that move? Because I can only think of one way you could have known. You knew the name because you asked about it. You asked a member of the staff, that is. Uh... Hey now, didn't that say what I said just a few seconds ago? That the people who knew were ordered to keep quiet yeah. about the move? He must have seen their practice. I somehow doubt that he could have simply asked someone and gotten an answer. Besides, even if what you said were the case, what do we learn from that? Not much, actually. You knew the name because you saw it. You saw it on the dressing room's whiteboard. The staff members who knew were keeping it a secret. So you couldn't have simply gone up to a staff member and asked. Which means that the only other option left is that you saw it on the whiteboard. So that means that Mr. Alba was in the waiting room at some point, right? But what's the big deal, sir? I don't see what that means. There is another piece of evidence that has a great deal to do with the dressing room. So we can't afford to let this slide. This is related to both the dressing room and to Mr. Cochin's murder. Uh, uh. <laughs> That's gonna come up somewhere. Oh my gosh! What if Larry hit him with the samurai spear? Cochin? No! What if Larry hit the ambassador with the samurai spear? Oh, and that's how he got the wound. And he's like, ah! I'm weak. No, he hit the wall, he already said. Uh, but that's Larry. What's related to Bo? Is it the stupid samurai dogs? No, it's not the samurai dogs. Good, good. Uh, the, 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 the push cart? Yeah! The push cart that was used to move the body was right there in the dressing room. During the show, the push cart awaited its turn to be pushed on stage in the dressing room. And it was finally pushed there along with the iron infant in the last scene of the show. And then right after the show ended, it went into Alabast along with the steel samurai. Which means that the only time the killer could have placed the body inside the push cart was when the push cart was in the dressing room backstage. So basically the killer had to be someone who visited the dressing room during the show. Precisely. <laughs> oh, but wait! What if- and this is just a what if- What if the murder didn't take place in the dressing room? What? what do you mean, Kay? I have to admit, she brings up a valid possibility. During the show, the dressing room was supposed to be devoid of people. Anyone going into the private dressing room would stand out like a sore thumb. But despite that, the killer still managed to move the body with the push cart. Correct. And it is because of the setup at the theater's dressing room that it would be the ideal location for the murder of Manny Cochin. This is so elaborate, holy crap. Yeah, I know. He died in the, uh, the embassy. No, he died in the other embassy. No, he died on stage. No, he died in the Back dressing stage. room. Quercus Alba, during the show, you went down to the dressing room, and I want to know why. Uh-huh. <coughs> yes. Yes, I was there. I went into the dressing room. I knew it! I'm placing you under arrest right now, pal! You got that? ARREST! Like... Not so fast. Wh what is it now? <laughs> Don't I deserve a chance to explain myself? Explain? What is there to explain? I believe I told you earlier that I went to the bathroom. Well, I got lost when I did. In your own embassy? <laughs> also, like... You don't- Nine times out of ten, because I've done theater, the bathroom is not anywhere near the dressing rooms, nor is it backstage. Like, most of the time, because it's too loud, no one's allowed to go use the bathroom during the show. Which sucks! 
when it's like a three hour show and you can't use the stupid bathroom the whole this time? Guy, it sucks! This guy just has the stupidest excuses. He's like, I went to the bathroom and then Lodhart was like, I caught him! I caught him! Woo! <laughs> I wanted to ask for directions, but when I opened the dressing room door, no one was inside. And that's when I saw the name of the move on the whiteboard. You punk! Still trying to get out of this! Do you really think you can get away at this point? Mr. Edgeworth, isn't there anything you can do to stop him? Ugh, I don't have enough evidence on, to hand, on hand to do anything. I can do stuff. I don't have the airtight evidence I need to put this man away for good. That's fine. But if that's what I need, then perhaps... Agent Lane, I believe an investigation of the dressing room in question is in order. It's possible that we may have find new evidence there. Yeah! If Mr. Edgeworth pokes around in there, I'm sure he'll find some new facts, pal. Ooh, and if we use Little Thief, we may even learn something from a recreation! We don't need to do any of that. What? Wolfie? How could you? I'm not saying this to be mean. It's just that we've already searched there. My men are really are something else. And they found nothing? There's only one thing I can say to you, sis, and that's they found nothing. That's it. I guess you're right. If they had found something, they would have reported it to us. <laughs> he took everything! We took everything. <laughs> they took everything. <laughs> Literally, like, any sort of evidence he could just dump in the the push cart with the body. He'd be like, uh, here's the oath of Babylon's ink, here's the blood. Everybody, burn all the stuff that you can burn, and put the rest in Manny's pocket. <laughs> Literally, they I couldn't think. find anything because there was nothing there to find. The other thing, too, is, like, where the dressing rooms are located would really help with this kind of mm -hmm. situation. Because, like, if it's the old theater that you did backstage stuff for, it could totally be possible that he could accidentally find the bathroom backstage. Because there's just that curtain that basically is hung between the, the dressing rooms and the backstage bathroom. But there's another show I've done where the, like, the rest... The restrooms, the dressing rooms are like under the stage. Mm -hmm. There's also some that I've done where it's like you can't get to the dressing rooms unless if you have like a key card thing you can get in. Right. So we, we don't have this is anything. Probably, this seems to be like a community theater style production <laughs> with uh, a higher budget. With, with like Steel Samurai. Yeah. Yeah, I would argue that. And if there's no info to feed into Little Thief, then I can't do much to help either. Is this the end? The murder took place in his theater which is not protected under extraterritorial rights. And the fact that it was Mr. Alba himself who committed the murder? If I can't prove both statements to be true, Mr. Alba walks away a free man! Is there no other course of action left to us? It would appear that your hand of cards has turned out to be a bust. Now, if you will excuse me, because of you people, I missed my flight. Now I must make haste to arrange for a new one. There, you whippersnappers! Back! First Nari and now you! What is with that scary mobster-like scowl on your face, Edgy Poo? Don't treat me like I'm some sort of nuisance. I've been meaning to say this, but all of you keep talking about the fates I don't get over at all. You're all leaving this lady in the sad, depressing, lonely dust that I'm about to cry. Why did you have to speak up right at this instant? Oh, but you know what, Edgy Poo? Cheer up! Because I'm about to give you the most wonderful thing. I swear, if it's her undershirt, I'm gonna lose my mind and maybe throw up. She's sick too, so she actually might. No, I'm kidding. The most wonderful thing from you. It's so super special that I couldn't give it away to just anyone, you know. Oh, my special present of love for my sweet Edgy Poo. Are you ready? Is this? It's... It's... A box of those samurai dogs, right? We already had those! Yes! Oh, Edgy Poo, here, go on and eat one and you'll feel right as rain. Eats. Does not eat. I love how everyone at least is on Edgeworth's side. It's just like, this lady's weird. This music. Are we through here? <laughs> Why did everyone get so quiet all of a sudden? Edgy Poo! Uh -huh. Tell me you understand the depths of this lady's love for you. I'm not the one to hand out snacks willy-nilly, you know. No, sir. The thought occurred to me that maybe it would be good if I fed you and made sure that you were nice and full. One day it's my dream to serve you some of my own homemade food. I mean, isn't it the desire of every woman to make sure that they're beloved and never goes hungry? And that's what I want to experience that one thing. Oh, a long time ago, I used to make a delicious meal out of ingredients and then you threw it at me. Mr. Edward, can't you do anything about her? 
There is no power on Earth that can force that woman into silence. But I'm so sick and tired of it! All you people do is look down on me! Even this box of samurai dogs played me for a fool. It had a special design on its fan like a Japanese flag, so I thought it was special. But then I ate one and it tasted just like all the rest! Oh, it made me so mad! Wait, a special box with a Hinomaru-like fan on it? Hinomaru. I've never heard of such a piece of merchandise existing before. However, there it, lo yeah, there it is. The red rising sun on this fan is filled in. Japan! It is it possible? Could it be? What? After the show, the samurai dogs were piled up on the dressing room floor. However, there is no such thing as a rising sun dog. What? That doesn't have anything to do with it! This contradiction of facts between something uh, that should not exist and yet does. Uh, the rays from the rising sun may be just what we needed to point us in the right direction. Here's, here's what you do. There's trash cans in the dressing room. You dump all the samurai dogs in with the dead body. Uh, helps prevent from smelling bad. And then you dump all the boxes in the dumpster when you walk out. <laughs> Usually the dressing rooms are near a dumpster. I don't know. <laughs> a present. The studio bigwigs basically told us to point delivery boys. We were supposed to hand the dogs off to the embassy people and tell them hi. I had to pile them all into the push cart just to move them all. I believe you understand what this means, correct? You killed Mr. Cochin at this theater and then placed his body inside the push cart. Oh, we're gonna have to do logic while waiting in front of the al amb amb ambassador. ambassador. And also, then. Is Polano still in the room? Me? Maybe. And he was kind of like, oh. He's like, I'll leave this to you. I trust you. You forced the Steel Samurai to unwittingly move the body for you. Do you still think Polano was an accomplice or are you like, no, he's fine? <laughs> he's probably fine. It's time to piece the final pieces of this logic puzzle together. No matter how fragile or small the connections may be, once we've found them all, the way to the truth will be revealed. Logic, 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 logic. Samurai dogs were in the push cart, and the body was in the push cart. We only have three. The killer used the push cart to transport the body, which means that they had to remove the samurai dogs from within first. Fed them to missile? Therefore, the samurai dogs that were piled up on the dressing room floor were most likely taken out of the push cart by the killer. Did they all go to Old Bag's house? Her dressing room? <laughs> Some of them. You good? Yeah. That which should not exist, this box of samurai dogs with a Hinomaru on it. Is that how you say Hinomaru. Hinomaru on it. If this red rising sun was filled in when the killer was busy removing dogs from the push cart, then it's proof that the murder took place in the dressing room. As long as this red substance turns out to be what I believe it is to be.